Hey everyone, it's Allison Sullivan with Stamp Crazy with Allison. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Westminster, British Columbia, which is on the west coast of Canada, so just outside of Vancouver. So welcome to my regulars and to anybody watching me on a replay, or if you've never joined me before, thank you for checking out my channel. I'm just going to make sure that I'm live. I also recognize that today is not my regular day, so I might not have a, a lot of people um, wanting to join me today <laughs> or knowing to look for me because I'll look for me tomorrow, but I'm going on a day trip so uh, tomorrow, so I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything this week. Okay, so I am live and we are broadcasting. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's going to join me. I'm going to wait a minute or so if people come. That's great. If not, I'll just go ahead and talk to myself and uh, you can watch on a replay later. So let me just get the comments up on my other screen. Just I give myself a, a refresh here if I could see. My other issue is that I lost my glasses. Well, I've misplaced them. I've lost them, I guess. Lost is a strong word. Okay, let's see. Nope, no one's coming. Um, probably because you guys don't know I'm here today. Oh, I've got somebody. Hey, Denise from Winnipeg. Oh, hi, Denise. I haven't seen you in a while. Nice to see you on here. Thanks for joining. And Mary, hello Mary, first time finding me. Oh, I'm so glad. Mary, I'm not usually um, on a Tuesday, so that was lucky that you found me. I'm usually on a Wednesday at three o'clock Pacific time, but um, I'm going uh, I'm going out for the day tomorrow. So I thought, oh gosh, should I just skip it this week or should I do it another day? So I thought I'll try another day. So I'm glad you found me. Okay, well, what we're gonna be working with today is one of my favorite suites in the new mini catalog. There's so many to pick from, so many beautiful uh, product stamps, beautiful, gorgeous designer series paper. It's hard to choose a favorite, but when I first flipped through the book, I was really drawn to the Merry, Bold, and Bright set, the suite. So let's play with that. Um, let's go over here, you guys. And here we go. Okay, so here we are. So let me get the catalog here for you. And this is the suite that we're going to be working with on um, pages eight and nine. So pretty. I love the bright colors. Now you could use more muted colors. Um, you don't have to use the bright colors, but they're so fabulous. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to recreate the card that we made at my live catalog launch party which was just on this weekend. So I had some kits left over and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna make those cards on a live just so you guys can see what we, what we make at our events, okay? So the suite itself includes the Merry and Bright stamps and dies, okay? It includes this beautiful ribbon. Uh, just it says white, but it's it's an iridescent ribbon. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of shiny. Isn't that pretty? Of course, usually sweets, well most times, all times, include designer series paper. Look at this paper. It's so fun. We've got the bulbs, two sets, two different kinds. We've got the fat bulbs and the little skinny bulbs. We have this fabulous pattern of colored dots which I love stars more dots so these are a bit bigger and then some stripes and then of course with all our DSP we've got the other side I love this paper how about this one fa la 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 love that love okay so there's the designer series paper set that aside over here we've also got I've got a little sample here for you this is the Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green 12 by 12 foil sheets. You get two each of two colors, so four sheets all together. Can you see how pretty, I don't know if you can see how pretty those are. 
love that. And then lastly, we have some embellishments. These are iridescent adhesive back discs. One of my customers was saying the other day at our event that he really likes these because they're flat and they don't add the weight to the card when you're mailing it and they don't poke through the envelope. And I thought, well, that's a good point. Okay, so now that's all the bits that we're gonna be using. And I'm just going to grab, I think I've only got, oh, hi Mo, how are ya? Nice to see ya. Um, we do have the best DSP, Denise, we absolutely do. Okay, so let's start. Let me show you what they would have got in their kit. They would have opened up their envelope and they would have found a piece of Melon Mambo, eight and a half by five and a half. Let's put that over there. Uh, eight and a half by eleven, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. That's your card front. Okay. Look at that. They would have found pre-cut items. Just makes it easier because we're making so many cards at our events that we sometimes do some of the die cutting. Not all, but some. They would have received a piece of designer series paper. This one's cut four by five and a quarter. Um, just a little scrap of basic white. A pre-cut piece of basic white using, let me grab those dies. Love these dies. This is the scalloped contours dies. Okay, so here's this one here. For those of you who've never joined me before, so Mary, um, and you're in Ireland, are you? Which part of Ireland are you from? My sister Mo is on this call. You'll recognize the name Morag as being quite a Scottish name. Um, we, um, my dad spent a year in the 60s um, in uh, Cork uh, building a plant, the Beamish and Crawford plant. So I don't know if it's still there, but whenever I mention that to Irish people, they go, oh, I know where that is. Anyway, uh, welcome. Thanks for joining. But normally, Mary, I cut out all these things. Like, I don't just show you the stand, the piece of paper with the die. But because I already have these, um, I'm just using up the leftover kit pieces that I had because I don't want them to go to waste, right? So that's that. And then I went ahead and cut out the little string for the lights. We gave them a tops of the bulbs. We cut one out of that melon mambo and one out of that granny apple. And then we also gave them two of the filaments to go in their bulbs. Okay, so when they opened it up, that's what they had in front of them. Okay, and then we went ahead and stamped. Okay, so I'm going to bring in Melon Mambo ink and Granny Apple Green. Those are the colors that are in my DSP and also the colors of the, the pretty foil. Okay, and I'm going to ink up a bulb in Melon Mambo. Now, the question is, do you want to go full strength or do you want a, a lighter version? So let me show you what I mean. Let me grab a piece of scrap here. If you want to use it full strength, it would look like this, which is nice. But without re-inking, I wanted to just show you. So it really is a personal decision. Do you want it really bright or do you want it a bit muted? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is full strength because the original card um, did not have that. So if I show you at full strength, then you can see the difference. And then it's a better way of deciding, oh, is that what I want to do? So now I'm going to grab the granny apple. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so that's full strength, both colors. Okay. Okay, close that up. Then what we did was we took our little toppers Okay, and we used, let me grab it here, we used dimensionals. 
which will become obvious in a minute about why I just didn't glue those down. I like to use the, the edges. Do you guys use the edges of your DS of your dimensionals? I love the edges. Okay, Mo. Well, my sister's just saying she has to go out and back in again, so she'll be back. What are you guys saying? I believe I haven't ordered that foil DSP. Oh, Denise. It is to die for. It is so pretty. And of course, I've got Mary for, in Ireland and Mary um, Stampin' Up came to uh, Ireland recently. So you can get your supplies. If you're in the south, if you're in uh, Northern Ireland, you, they were already there. Not sure where you're from. So I'm going to just take my white glue and I'm just going to put a little titch if we can get it started here. Sometimes you have to, if it's been sitting for a while, you have to kind of unclog the end, don't we? Oh, come on, this is crazy. I gotta squeeze, ah, there we go. I just had to give it a little bit harder squeeze. Okay, so now we're going to just add that on. I'm just dotting it on. Just dot, dot, dot. Not a lot. It does dry clear, but, you know, you don't want to put too much on. So I'm going to just slip this underneath like so. And we do have a stamp as part of the set. So you could just use that if you wanted. Whatever you like. Like I said, normally I make a card by cutting all the bits and everything, but... I'd show you, and if you ever take a class from me, virtually, um, we send you all the bits that you need uh, to make your cart. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's take our little string here, and all I did was I threaded it through, and that's why I pop this up because that way this is raised up from the card and it's a lot easier for me to thread that through. Okay, so I'm just going to thread that through like that. I'll leave the little tail on there for now. We'll trim that off in a bit. Okay, next up I've got my little scrap of basic white. I've got my words and I'm choosing Merry Christmas. I love this. Um, like they're negative. So basically the inside the words are white and the color the background the solid bit will be the color of ink that you choose so i'm going to choose the melon mambo there we go and i am just going to fussy cut this with my scissors pretty easy pretty straightforward what have you guys been playing with anything Today I was playing with a set that, oh my gosh, I was not inspired to use, but in part it, a PDF tutorial group, and I don't have any say in what is chosen. So it was the Lay Le Shop, the one from the annual catalog, and I thought, what am I going to do with this? Anyway, I asked my friends to help me because I could not think of anything. And they each had some ideas, and then I had some ideas. Anyway, I put it all together, and I said to them, boy, that sure took a village to build that card. And sometimes it does, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm really happy with it. It's kind of funny how that works. Okay, we're going to glue our DSP down. Does anyone else love this set? I just love it. Okay. And... You could pop this up, but I'm just going to glue it down because I've got a lot of stuff popped up, right? I've got the the um, tops of the bulbs popped up, and then I'm going to have the words. We're going to be popping those up, so I think that's enough. Now, as for this black, all I did was I took it and I just put a little dot of glue like so subtle and just held it down. Cause you know, this white glue takes a bit to, to get going. Hi Ellie, how are ya? Hi Janice. I had to decide between this set and the metal. Oh, that's a hard choice. When you have to choose between the metal bundle and the bold and bright. Ah, 
Um, and you're from Ontario. Welcome, Janice. Have you been here before? I never do these on Tuesdays. And look at all the new people I'm finding on Tuesdays. Please check me out normally on Wednesdays or uh, Sunday mornings at 10, all Pacific time. I'm impressed that um, Mary from Ireland is here because I know it's quarter after, is it quarter after 11 at night there, Mary? Oh my gosh, thank you for coming. I'm just going to trim this off. Okay. okay. And then I just want to pop up our words. So again, let's grab some of those little edges. I love the edges, the little bits because you can cut them off and use them in strips, which I really love. Okay, and then... Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so we've got Mary. I'm going to put Mary up here. And we'll put Christmas down here. So you can see how fast I was able to do that because I had all the bits already cut, right? Okay, let's add some of those fun little bits here. Little flat discs. I'm going to take a red one. If you guys don't have the take a pick tool, you need it. Just saying. There we go. Okay, so that's the card that we made at our stamp camp. Here is the original one. Let me show you the difference here. This is full strength, both colors, so really bright. This is the muted one because I stamped off first and then I stamped in. So I like both of them. I'm not sure which one I like better. Love, love, love this suite. I'm just going to clear off my workspace here. I'm going to show you a couple more examples. Um, hi, Mern. Happy Tuesday to you. Um, here is another card. Now, this was a case, meaning I copied it right out of the catalog. Is that fun? And then here's another one. I took a card from the catalog and then I kind of adapted it. And then here's another one where I just stamped them and then cut them out with the coordinating dies. So fun. I just, I love it. I just think that these are so fun and whimsical, right? Just love it. Okay, you guys. So unfortunately for Janice, Janice, I'm going to tempt you again because we've got the winter meadow. And this is the other one that you were, you couldn't decide between the two. And this was another one that we used for a card for our event. And I have those all cut. So why don't we go ahead and make the card and I'll just show you um, how customers would have made this card on our day. Okay. We started, here's the envelope. We started with Moody Move. So this was cut eight and a half by five and a half, four and a quarter. Okay. And then I went ahead and cut them some DSP. Love this one. Don't you love this one with the with the berries, right? Love that. Let me get you those measurements. One of the things we do at our, at our class is, is we give the PDF. So there were six projects on Saturday, and everybody got a copy of the pictures and the measurements and the supplies and the directions so they can make them again at home. Three by four and three quarters. Both of those are exactly the same size. Okay. So I'm going to remind myself what my card looked like. Boy, I'm going to be winging it because I, oh, here it is. Ah, what am I making? Okay. So let's glue these down. So I took the first piece of DSP. This is a really easy, easy layout. You could do this with pretty much any, well, any bundle, any suite, any DSP, and just change up the DSP and the colors and substitute different stamps, and it works. Okay, so that's what I did first. 
And then I took these fabulous dies. Have you guys seen these something fancy dies? Should we have a look? Let's have a look. Look at this. I kind of made a mess of them, but here we go. So we've got these labels. There we go. So we've got these labels, these labels, these little things that you can put on the end to make like a tag. We've got different shapes. Love that. I took this large one. I took Lost Lagoon and we cut it out. Okay. So again, normally you guys, please join me another time because normally, of course, I would um, be cutting this out live, but because I had the bits left over, we were just going to make these together. Okay. All right. So that's what I did. So that's that die is called something fancy, something fancy dies. They're in the annual catalog. And then I also cut out a circle using the favorite, my favorite stylish shapes dies. Okay. So that's our two kind of bits that we've got there. Okay. And then I also had a little scrap here, which we're going to stamp on. But let's grab the stamps that we need and a block, an acrylic block to get our stamps on. There we go. I use the word winter wishes, and I'm also going to use those little berries that match the paper. Okay, so winter wishes. And I've got Moody Mauve Ink. The designer series paper is so gorgeous. Now I'm going to stamp it rather than in the middle. I'm going to stamp it just up in the corner a bit, which you'll see why in a sec. Okay. Whoops, crash. Nothing was broken, just went flying. Let's take this. Now, here's something um, I haven't done in a long time, and I thought, well, this is a fun technique. So we're going to use the red rubber. We're going to use some stamp and Write markers, and we have got Lost Lagoon and Moody Mauve. So the same colors that we've got in our paper we're going to use. Anybody saying anything? <laughs> Janice, yeah, you lucked out today. It was, it's fate, right? Um, I love it too, Denise. Isn't it? Denise has got a really good point. She says, I love it when the DSP does all the work because it really does. It just makes the card and slap a saying on there and you're good to go. So I'm going to take the Lost Lagoon. We're going to take the brush end and we don't want to color ever with our markers like this. It's not like the blends. You always want to use the side of your marker. Okay, so we're going to just apply this to the greenery or the uh, the parts that I think are like the leaves. Okay, the non-berry bits. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice that, but I guess the top of this is also non-berry bit. I didn't do that on my original. So the top of the little berries is green too. Hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to take the mauve and we're just going to color right on the rubber. Don't worry too much um, how fast you're working. I'll show you a little trick, but also don't worry if you miss a little bit. It's fine. It can look a little muted, muted. Okay, so there we go. So now I've got the ink, two different colors of ink applied to one stamp. Okay. Now, it will stay moist, but if you're worried, you just have to breathe on it. So you just open your mouth and huff on it. Okay? And then we'll stamp that on there. There we go. Love that. It's like a distinctive stamp. Now we are going to cut this one out. So let me grab... Let me grab the coordinating die, which I should have checked before I... Oh, here it is. Sometimes I think, oh gosh, did I put it back in there? Yikes. I like to use repositionable tape with my dies if it's cutting out a specific stanch shape. Just so if it moves while I'm working on it, it won't make a difference. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna stick that down. Let's bring in our Stampin' Cut and Emboss. Love. And I use plate number three, which is the gray plate. And then I use plate number two, and then my paper and my die, and then plate number two. Okay, because I find that that grabs it all the time. You guys, you Tuesday guys are fun. You're a lot more talkative sometimes in my Wednesday group. <laughs> All right. So that's what we've got. So here's our little bits. I've also got a piece of, of the ribbon. Look at this ribbon. It's got a silver edge and then it's organdy in the middle. Isn't that gorgeous? So all they had to do was take their little die here, take the ribbon, we tied it around. There's a lot of, can you put your finger here and hold it in place for us on Saturday? I'm just going to tie this in a very loose knot. Nothing too hard. There we go. Let's hold that in place. Grab my ribbon scissors and just trim off a little of the excess. There we go. Okay. Now, I am going to glue this down because it will hold that ribbon in place once it sets. If I popped it up, it might not do that. So let's just position that. This is a really simple card. And let's grab our dimensionals. I have so many dimensionals open, but they're all the, just the ends left. I should use them up. Let's pop this up. Okay, cut all these little edges. Might as well use them up. Okay, let's take those off. There we go. Like so. And then here's that piece that we stamped. So we just want to kind of put it on here. I'm going to just glue it down. I was thinking I might pop it up, but I don't think I will. I think I'll just glue it and you can just play with it to see where the best placement is. There we go. Okay, so that's what we've got. You can even tuck that up like that. Move all of that out of the way. And then lastly, let's add some of these fantastic, look at these fantastic little gems. Here are the here's the ones they would have got in their little kit. So I'm just going to pull one of those off, and then we'll pull another one off. Maybe that's on the wrong. Yeah, helps if I'm pulling it off the right side. These are also flat, so very easy to uh, to pop in the mail. Okay, so that's. The second card that we made. So pretty, so easy, so fun. Okay, I want to see some other ones. Here's some other cards made that I've shown before, but since you're my new Tuesday group, I haven't seen some of you haven't seen it. So let me show you. We've got the colder weather brings us together. This is really pretty. That's using the um, embossing folder with some of the DSP. This one's pretty. That pretty. This is just taken, cut out, and then on the edge, Versamark's been put on the edge, and then add some silver embossing powder. Here's one that I made a couple of weeks ago. Go back and look at my previous um, videos. Click on my videos, or you can always go to my YouTube channel. Stamp Crazy with Allison is my YouTube channel, and they're all over there. Here's another one that I made a few weeks ago. Let me show you this one. I do love this one. This is also on my blog, Stamp Crazy with Allison. So I just used a little piece of DSP on that side and then the more muted piece on this side and lots of the cutouts with the ribbon, pretty. And then lastly, I've got this one. Okay, so now you feel like you've been at my, at my stamp camp, right? Now, normally I only take half an hour to do a live, but I wanted to show you some samples 
And I wanted to show you samples from the Joy of Christmas suite before we sign off for today. So that's page 28, 29, and 30. This, I'm 31. This suite is so beautiful and so big. It's got two sets of stamps and dies. So we've got this one, which is Joy of Noel bundle. And then we've also got the Christmas classics. And they are, because the words are classic. And then we've got these classic um, dies, okay? And then of course we've got embellishments and designer series paper and all sorts of fun things. So let me show you some of those cards that are made with that. I was in a swap, so some of these are from a swap. This is a nice simple card using those, those um, products. Got the DSP, which you can hopefully can see. There's that fun scalloped um, label that we used in our in our Merry Bold and Bright. I love the this one. Just a little bit of coloring, nothing hard, nothing fancy, right? Okay. Then we've got this one, also a really great one. I don't know if you can see this, but this is um, same colored die cuts glued to the um, shaded spruce there. Deck the halls, love that. Again, there's that edging just with the Versamark and just a very subtle embossing powder. Then gorgeous, gorgeous DSP. Okay. Um, Oh, thanks, Denise. <laughs> Denise, is, remember everybody to give Allison a thumbs up on YouTube. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Okay, this one's fun. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I had this on a display board at our event, and this card got a lot of attention. It's from my friend Diane, and we got it in a swap. But look, there she's used. Those Those are the letters that come, you know, that are um, die cut out. Then we've got that die cut background. And then we've got the Merry Melody 3D embossing folder. Like, it's just gorgeous. Is that beautiful? I'm impressed. Look how she got those all even. I don't know if I could do that. And then today I got a lovely surprise. My sister Ellie, Ellie Blake, who is on this call, she sent me some gorgeous cards. And I just thought I'd share them with you. Look at this. She says some of them are cased. And that's fine. Casing, if we're putting things on the internet, like the cards I've showed today, please case them, use them. That's what we love. That's what Stampin' Up's all about, sharing, right? So I love this. I love how Ellie's put, this is one die, then she's glued other below that she's also die cut, and then um, pop that up. And this is the ribbon from the online exclusive. So make sure you check those out. And this is a book. I think it's called a book card because you've got the spine that you glue down. But look at this. Normally, you'd have a piece that came over here. I love the way that this one has your little book, but then she's also got the letters. Also impressed that those are very straight. How about this one? Isn't that gorgeous? So many um, things you can do with this bundle. Love that. Same idea. She's got the, the two layers of um, dies there. And then I like this one. I like the colors in this one because it's it's traditional colors. For the most part, we've got cherry, I think that's cherry cobbler, yeah. And I think that's shaded spruce. Ellie can tell me if it's not. I think so. And then she's added that old olive in there just for a little um, contrast. So check out that. And let me bring in the cards that we made today. We've got this one here using the Mary Bold and Bright. And we've got this one using the Winter Meadow. And here we are. So let me see. Oh, I love them, Ellie. I love the cards. They're all gorgeous. She sent me a bunch of other ones, but I'll show you those another time. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, thanks, Denise. I like to use a rolled up glue dot to hold my ribbon down. That's a great idea. So Denise is saying, you know how I was saying, I'll put all that glue on the back, hold that ribbon in place. Denise is saying if you take your glue dot and you kind of roll it up, that will just hold your ribbon in place. That's a really good tip. Uh, thanks, Janice. Uh, I always forget the Versa mark on the edges too. Um, those were both from, from um, samples I got. Uh, oh, thanks, you guys. Thanks, Mary. Okay, when am I here next? Well, Sunday. Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'll be back. My regular days are Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time and Sundays at 10 a.m. 
I know it's not Wednesday, it's Tuesday. And that's because I am going uh, away for the day tomorrow. I didn't want to miss crafting with you guys. So that's why I'm here. But there's so many people that came on today that aren't on Wednesdays. So I'm going to have to start to think about do I need to add a Tuesday? I'll have to see. All right. If not, please join me on Wednesdays. Okay. Any other questions, you guys, before I leave you? I don't think so. I really appreciate You know how much I appreciate you all coming. People are busy. Lives are busy. Um, but I'm glad you could take a little bit of your time today to join me and craft along with me. I do really appreciate having someone to talk to because sometimes it can feel like you just dog into the cyberspace. So thanks so much. I hope that you will have some time to do some crafting before I see you again on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And until then, happy stamping, everyone. <laughs>